Welcome back. Joining me now is Tim Wood, and of course he is the man about town who knows about everything that's going on, and we're going to find out all about it right now. We have lots to talk about. Welcome back, Tim. I'm very happy to be here. Happy to be part of the, the Daily News. The Daily News. Yeah, very exciting. So let's jump right in here. We have a first grader who got quite a surprise on his career day from Chick-fil-A. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. River Ridge Academy, they held the career day for their students and, and first grader Andrew Fitzgerald, he wanted to, he wants to be, he wants to own a Chick-fil-A when he grows up and he wants to own it with his brother, uh, Liam, he wants to put the Chick-fil-A inside the, inside his brother's car dealership. So nice. his mom, Sarah reached out to Chick-fil-A, uh, on, in, on Malfars road, they made him a name tag. His friend Sydney gave him a Chick-fil-A hat and they got a red shirt from Target. And there you go. He's, he's, He's a Chick-fil-A owner. He is a Chick-fil-A owner, yeah. They Chick-fil-A corporate folks loved it so much they sent him they sent him a swag bag. Oh, how fun and, is that? And uh, so so now he's he's on the books. He's on he's on the books expected to open in 2036. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I will be waiting for that grand opening so we can announce it right here on the Daily News. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then we're going to move to an April Fools joke that had everybody fooled. What's going on there? Okay, so yeah, and this this happened on the What's Happening in Bluffton group. James Murley, he posted a photo of a safe. Now it's the one of the oldest memes on the internet. I found a safe. He he said he found it on a job site off of Route 170. More than five. I mean, everybody loves a safe, you know. More than 500 commenters were like dying to know what was in the safe. Turns out it was an epic April Fool's Day marketing ruse, which we all found out about because he posted this adorable video featuring his pops. And it's him pro him promoting uh, the opening of his soon soon to open business K9 Resorts off of 170. I mean, he broke the rules of the group. I, I knew the whole I found a safe thing. But I have to give him epic props for, for pulling it off. Yeah, epic, epic creativity for sure. That's a lot of fun. And we're going to move to a May River student who just won a fantastic welding scholarship. What did he get? Absolutely. Gabe Juarez. Now, I mean, he's already, folks might know him. Um, he's already won two state champion, uh, wrestling state championships for the Sharks. But he, he went with a few other students from Brad Childress's welding class over at a May River uh, to a statewide welding competition. He won first place and he got a 17, about an $18,000 scholarship to uh, Arc Labs Welding School, which is one of the best hands-on learning schools in the country. So, uh, I mean, a big shout out to May River, to Gabe, to yeah. the whole career and technical education program over there. Absolutely. Congratulations for sure. And that is a, a big feather in his cap. And so now we're going to move to something that, of course, as a community, we come together. We do that a lot around here. And we had a restaurateur who had a big health scare about five weeks ago. Tell us about what's happening around uh, rallying for her recovery. Absolutely. So uh, Jessica Slyker, um, she is beloved, a beloved community member. I mean, you know, you ask her to get involved in a cause. She's the first one in. And she recently took over Kelly's Tavern. Well, not soon after that happened, she had a massive coronary event about five weeks ago. And thankfully, I mean, it was very touch and go for a bit. Thankfully, she's at home now um, on the mend. And her fr her family and friends are going to hold a day for Jessica at Kelly's on April 30th uh, to just celebrate her recovery, help help raise some more money uh, for her medical fund. And I mean, they've set up a GoFundMe. Uh, I think we have the address for it. Uh, just search medical assistance for Jessica Slyker Mama, and uh, you can help pay the medical cost because it was pre pretty extreme. Yeah, it really was. And so, again, let's rally around her and make sure we're helping in her recovery. We've got about 30 seconds left, but I do want to get to this because somebody who's got a name around town that is pretty familiar just bought the uh, Packet Building. Tell us who it is. Billy, I mean, it was rumored for a little bit. Billy Watterson, the owner of uh, Watterson Brands, the owner of Burnt Church Distillery. They bought the building, about a $6.3 million purchase, according to county records. The officials say they, they haven't figured out what they're going to do with it yet. Uh, they're going to use it for storage to begin with. But, you know, knowing what he's done 
with Burnt Church, what, what they're looking to do with the Bank of America building on Pope Avenue, uh, with Side Hustle Brewing. Uh, I think we can expect big things from, from Waters and Brands here. And very, very exciting for that part of town. Absolutely. I agree with you. I'm sure it is going to be something big. And thank you, Tim, as always, for being with me. Uh, thank you. Next, we'll bring you the latest business report. Don't go away.